Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number 9. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, a lot of um, stuff happened. Uh, AG is in big trouble. Um, at the same time, uh, Odokawa, I don't know, like it feels as if Odokawa, like I'm kind of relieved in a way because it feels like from uh, whatever Goriki and Shirakawa was talking about, it feels like uh, the illness that Odokawa has is something that's uh, not it's not something that will kill him you know, it's they're talking about synesthesia which is uh, as far as I could understand is a disorder where you your senses are kind of mixed up like you see like you know like you you can see sounds like, you know you can like visualize sound and taste like you know it, it kind of like it, it's kind of like a Thing like that i'm not completely sure what it actually is but it's something like that you know like it actually triggers a different part of your sense than it's supposed to so i don't think that's lethal so like i was kind of freaking out i was thinking like maybe he's going to die or something by the end of the anime probably that that's not the case and i'm kind of relieved in a way but that doesn't mean that he's not safe like he's actually getting into more like you know deep into the whole criminal thing uh like you know like uh dobu like he took the evidence of dobu and like gave it to daimon i'm guessing the younger one and like you know he's going into in these type of dangerous uh, territories and all and like a person is actually trying to kill him tanaka that guy uh with the mask and a lot of things are happening at the same time and by the uh, like you know that's one thing and also the whole thing with ag and we also got to know what the manager is doing yamamoto i think that was his name uh like you know they're doing this in, in like you know in, in kind of like a way to gain money from them and uh like, you know these people and uh ag is an unfortunate victim of that and uh thankfully by the end of it we see uh, she, uh odokawa was able to actually understand that ag is in trouble so hopefully he goes to Daimon with this, you know, the younger one and tells him about this. Like, I don't want him to actually for himself to go and try to stop them. Like, that'll be kind of a risky move. But this is Odoka we are talking about. I don't know. He might himself try to go and solve the situation. But I, I really hope that he goes to the police first. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number... Um, nine yeah episode number nine of our taxi so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay this portion will be taken off you know the video because one of my earlier videos got you know copyright uh, content id claimed because of the <laughs> only the video so this never happened before because i kind of like you know blur it and edit it in a way like you know that the copyright boss won't be able to get me but i think this is the first anime uh, opening which kind of got flagged i don't know how they <laughs> the bots were able to detect but yeah for safety purposes, I'm going to take this portion off. Safety for my channel. <laughs> oh! I never noticed this Kawasawa kind of inflating because of the phone viral thing wow this opening has a lot of hints to actually what's going to happen you know like the phone is kind of inflating his ego I think most probably that was the symbolism but the hero's melancholy okay here we go what Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good for him. Enough. 
Oh my god, he himself is trying to do that. Ah. Oh. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we need help. Yeah, it, it is pretty... Oh! Yeah, exterminating evil. <laughs> he knows how to make him work. Yeah. All right, a pot of wine. Whoa! Oh, one hour from now, Dobu will show up. Be a real hero. Wait, who is in this? Oh, he is messaging. Okay, I thought someone was. What the? Just a sec, guys. All right, guys, I'm back and I had to go out for a second, so. Scared of Dobu. Oh. <laughs> One hit wonder. Bought this guy. Oh. How dare you? One of the worst characters of this show, I can see. Like, you know, this guy. Like, such immaturity, I... I don't know. Like, I, I think he's supposed to be a... Oh, uh, Otokawa's message. I think he's supposed to be a... <laughs> he's supposed to be a grown-ass man, isn't he? I'm not sure what his age is, but... I don't know. I really don't like people, like, you know, having, like, keeping a pretense of someone... Okay, I'm talking about this later on. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, he's taking Dobu with him. That's kind of intelligent. Wait, wasn't he supposed to... Uh, yeah, I feel a... There you go, nice. Okay, it's following him. <laughs> oh no, oh no, he noticed it. Okay. Wait, who is in that? Oh, oh! It's Tanaka! Oh my god! Wait, I thought it I thought it was someone else. I thought it was Diamond or something. <laughs> I'm still in Japan. Oh my god, the people are crazy in this show. Oh, 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 
Okay, that worked. For our favor, in a way. Yeah, yeah. Run. Or drive. Where is the police? Like, he's shooting a gun in the middle of the street. There's no one here? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one in a million chance, not if you're dead, you know? Damn. Okay, they're here. Three days, what? <laughs> oh, he's scared of waters. Mm, they're here. Yes. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Damn, he's strong. Dobu. <laughs> Taxi driver. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, er, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I hope I hope Yang doesn't come in in this like you know situation. That'll make it more complicated. Come on. Oh! Oh boy. Okay, AG, come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay, okay, they're out. Come on. Let's go. I don't want Yano coming in in this situation. There he is. Duty and human nature is an excuse for- wow. Okay. Hey, he got the- Okay. Alright, is he going to pick up Dobu? I think so, let's see. Or maybe not. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Dobu can find his own way back. What? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Boy! Oh, he got the ring with him. Oh my god, I feel like Yano is going to come. Oh! Oh my god, it's Tanaka! What? What the hell is happening? Thirty six steps. Hmm. 
Hmm. Panel stamp. <laughs> yeah, true. Mm. Wait, is it? Oh no, this is. Oh my god, Tanaka is also here. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, is he an idiot or what? Like, is he stupid? What is wrong with him? Wait, Tanaka is there. Yeah, obviously. Wait, that was live, wasn't it? Okay, don't give him life lessons now. There's a guy who's trying to kill you. <laughs> wow, he, he's, he's, <laughs> he's giving him life advice in the middle of this. You have no self-esteem. <laughs> ah! <sighs> oh, it's still ongoing. Oh. oh Wow Good point <laughs> He'll be like you, you become my master <laughs> That'll be funny What's happening here? <laughs> Damn, Dobu changed the person. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, I understood one thing. That was not Tanaka. That was Kawasawa who shot him. I thought it was Tanaka. It was not him. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Discount. Uh. Mm, that's true, but you know. Mm. 
Yeah, true. Talk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shrika herself said something like that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> He's apologizing. <laughs> uh, oh my god, people are going to be mad because I... I think people got, gave him money, didn't they? To buy a membership or something? Oh boy, people are going to be mad at him. I think. Oh my god. And this this feels like a blackmail. <laughs> what? Oh my god, people are going to freak out at this. He literally says that I'm not going to... Oh! <laughs> My god. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, AG. <sighs> Sell it, you know, or do something. Or keep it, whatever. Don't throw it. Don't do that. What? What's wrong with the people in this show? That's worth money. Oh my god. Like, I understand. Like, that's like took a result for him to do, but. Like, he's, he's in debt. So, okay, thank God, like, yeah, you need that ring. That's worth a lot of money. Go. My God, these people. Oh. Wait, who is this? Oh, God again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Problem. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, really? What? Oh, okay. Fifth grade, wow. Mm. Name of the representative. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. You're okay. Oh. What? 
Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, uh, that was a lie. <clears throat> what believes? Wait, he doesn't know that? Like, she said that he believes. That's an odd way of referring to that situation. That means he doesn't know. Okay. Wait, what? So that means he himself doesn't know that his parents are not alive, but other people know that. Like, what's up with that? Oh, maybe, uh, oh, maybe they did not, uh, maybe he was, uh, like, you know, he was young, so they did not tell him clearly that, yeah, your parents are not alive anymore. They said something probably like they're missing or something. I don't know. Like, that's what he believes, you know? I'm sure we'll get more answers. Okay. All right, okay, is that it? All right, that went pretty well. I thought, um, I don't know, like I had a feeling that it's going to be become like, extremely crazy or something, like, you know? But like, everything went quite smoothly. There were no problem, you know? And the whole Kabasawa situation is also uh, over. And uh, now, um, uh, AG is safe and uh, yeah, the only problem that is still left, a few problems, that is Tanaka and Dobu himself. So those are the main problems that are still left and what, you know, he needs to resolve. Okay, so, all right. So the first thing that I want to talk about in this episode is Kabasawa. Now, the thing with Kabasawa is like, um, as Dobu said, narcissism uh, in a way that like this thing like i've seen a few characters like this in anime and like you know i usually don't hate characters that much and uh you know like even evil people like i try to find a good thing in them because you know like every people like they don't become evil by choice something happens you know in their life most probably in their childhood or something which kind of makes them turn towards the evil part so every time like you know villains be it villains or someone bad i always try to find out that one good thing that is in them and like you know i respect them for their for being a person like you know for being themselves or something like that and uh, that's one thing that i always try to do but one type of character that i really do not like at all that is i hate like uh, like uh, of, of, in all the anime is is characters like Kawasawa in a way because you know like the things that these type of characters are uh, they really are unable to do much things you know but they talk big you know act as an ass completely makes a fool out of themselves and by the end of it like when they realize that nothing can be done they start like you know like she, I don't know like apolo apologizing like a coward I hate that. I, I don't know why, but this type of a character really, I really do not like them at all. And, but Kabasawa here, uh, he does not have that much, you know, he's quite on the lower scale of that. I know a few characters who really grind my gears, who are like this, who are at the extreme end of this. One of the characters, I'm going to uh, mention a different anime here, uh, is Shinji from uh, uh, not Evangelion, I'm not talking about him. <laughs> That's a good Shinji. Uh, I'm talking about Shinji from Fate Stay Night. Oh my god. Like, that's the type of character I actually really hate passionately. I do not like, I don't know why, but it really kind of annoys me the fact that they themselves, like, don't have, like, they can't do anything about a situation, but they act like they are one of the toughest people in the planet you know behave like a complete douchebag and uh, like you know like it's just annoying nasty their behavior and it, it really annoys me i don't like that and kawasawa even though he has that he was kind of towards the lower end of that because 
he by the end of it he actually realizes his mistake and he apologizes usually these type of characters does not do that they never do that they never really apologize they never really uh like you know mend their ways that's the main like you know <laughs> shining feature of these type of characters but that's why i'm saying kabasawa is towards the lower end of that because he really he in the by the end of it he actually apologized so i can say that okay like you know he he's fine like he was just a person who uh started walking on the wrong like you know path and by the end of it <laughs> surprisingly enough dobu is the person who actually <laughs> brought him back <laughs> wow that was funny you know like <laughs> dobu dobu starts giving him life lessons in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of having a bullet wound in his leg i think you know he starts giving him life lessons and <laughs> god that was, that was hilarious okay all right so this episode um first of all i really love the fact that odokawa actually <laughs> used dobu to go bring uh uh what's uh what's his name uh, ag back <laughs> i love that i never thought he would do that but that's pretty intelligent you know because dobu actually knows um them uh those two uh like you know yano and the other guy the bear guy and <clears throat> like if like you know if he brought a diamond with him like, you know i doubt diamond would be able to overpower that guy you know so it was a good decision that he took dobu with him and uh, dobu helped him <laughs> okay that and uh, yeah and then we see the whole kawasawa scene where he actually lashes out at the girl like that's another like you know scene that really annoyed me where he basically like you know lashes out at someone because of his own incompetence you know like like what the hell dude like i don't know but by the end of it when he was like crying and saying that oh my god i i like you know i i feel like killing myself or something i felt like you know like he has problems and he like you know really started walking on the wrong road but thankfully hopefully as well he uh, like you know he he becomes a proper person like you know and uh, starts, as he said he start he will be starting start going uh, he start going to the university again and all that stuff so yeah okay that and okay that's that tanaka comes in from i don't know wherever the hell he was he comes and starts ramming the car shooting them and uh <laughs> like you know like thankfully they were able to get out of that situation and <clears throat> yeah then the whole ag scene we see like you know they go to the warehouse uh odo uh dobu has a fight with that guy and uh odokawa goes in brings ag out and takes him away from here good like i was i was really freaking out i was thinking like yano was was going to come any second and that would have been a mess then thankfully nothing like that, that sort happened and they were able to get out of that easily and dobu is also kind of uh like you know overpowered that guy beat him up and uh Yeah okay now here's the thing when dobu comes out from the corner okay here's the thing he gets shot i think he his uh he gets sh- got shot in his leg most probably let me just check that scene again okay where is that section No 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 wait a minute. Okay, he comes out. All right. Someone shoots him. Wait, wait, wait. He says this, he says that damaged skull mask. Wait, so that was not Kawasawa. What? Okay, just a sec. Wait a minute. Like that's why that means I was right in the beginning. It was actually Tanaka who shot him. what is happening here okay so wait a minute so like he gets shot from the other side of that uh section you know he gets shot from that direction you know this direction and like he start he said sits down over here 
and someone comes from this side so obviously the person here and the person here are two different people i thought it was actually Kab uh, kabasawa who shot him but kabasawa came from this direction so that means tanaka was the one who shot him and he actually says that damn it skull mask i thought you were an amateur wait so so they like where did he go then like i thought like if it was Tanaka who shot him, why did he not come? Like, that's the actual thing that really confused me. I was like, okay, Tanaka shot him and he never comes and, like, you know, checks that uh, who is it he shot or something else, you know? Like, he never comes here. So that's why, like, I thought, like, okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was not Tanaka. It was actually Kabasawa who shot him. Because, like, you know, that situation, scene, like, Tanaka never comes. So that means no it was not Kabasawa who shot him like it was um, Tanaka who shot him that means then where did he go after that like, that's a weird situation like he just shoots him and goes away like what like and also another thing like I was very confused at that this situation Odoka was like you know just like starts <laughs> giving Kabasawa life lessons at that moment like I thought that okay, like maybe I was like you know at the beginning I was I I, I was thinking that okay maybe it, it it's not Tanaka because like you know like Odokawa like uh, Dobu is just like sitting down and like talking with him and like you know <laughs> giving him life lessons. I thought that oh maybe I was making a mistake. Maybe it was actually Kabasawa who shot him. That's why he's like you know sitting down and talking with him because there is no Tanaka in this scene. But that's not the case. That means that means Tanaka is the one who shot him, but. Kabasawa comes in at that scene and actually, like, you know, tries to, uh, you know, use that scene for his favor. And obviously gets, like, you know, captured by Do. Okay, yeah. Alright, like, that really makes sense. And also, like, after that, I can see that when he asks uh, Kabasawa that, do you have a gun? Kabasawa shooks, shakes his head. So it was not Kabasawa. Like... Alright, so that means I was correct in the beginning. Like, it was actually Tanaka who shot him. I was very confused. I was like, what happened? Like, he shot him and went away? Like, what? Didn't even come in this direction? I don't know. That was kind of weird. Oh, maybe he realized that he got the wrong person and actually ran away or something. Maybe that's what happened. Mm, yeah, that's, I think that's the only probable explanation here. Alright. Okay, that and now... Here's the thing, when Kabasawa and, uh, you know, Dobu actually talks, like, you know, Dobu talks with Kabasawa. Okay, he says that, uh, I've always wanted to disappear, I've always wanted to die. <laughs> I'm saying you're, oh, here it is. I'm saying your extreme rejection of and, of and hatred for yourself is narcissism. This is a very good line, like, I never thought it like that in that direction, you know, like, the thing that Dobu says here. Yeah, he says that um, normal people aren't that interested in themselves. Like, he's basically saying, like, according to Kabasawa, he was like, no, I'm not a narcissist because I actually hate myself, you know? Like, I don't like myself. I like, like, I feel like I'm killing myself, stuff like that. He's saying. So, Dobu actually says, like, he makes a very good point here. He's saying that, like, people are actually not that much interested in themselves. That itself is a, <laughs> you know, indication that you're a narcissist. Like, wow, that's, that's a really good way of like, yeah, interpreting that. And, uh, yeah, he, he's spot on. I have to say, he's spot on. <laughs> like, damn, Dobu should have, <laughs> should give up on these type of criminal activities and, I don't know, like, become, uh, like, like, a psychiatrist, a doctor, someone like, like, who gives, like, uh, like, you know, these type of, uh, maybe, maybe a motivational speaker or something. Yeah, like, he'll do it good, I feel like. You know, like he can actually like, you know, like he actually like really spot on, like, you know, uh, found out his actual problem, like what he's suffering from, you know, his own narcissism. He was able to like spot on and uh, talk about, like, you know, uh, figure it out. Like, damn, that's impressive. I have to say. <laughs> and uh, or maybe he's just like, you know, he has some other uh, experiences about this. Maybe someone who he knew was like this or maybe he himself was like this either of that like you know he was really able to pinpoint his problem <laughs> and uh, yeah 
okay that and okay while he was saying all of these things the video was recording i think it was not live you know like i don't think that was live like if it was live it would have been a very like you know dangerous situation like you know like the the thing was still recording and if it, it was live then everyone would be able to hear them you know like like <laughs> Like, you no, know, like they would listen to them, like, you know, uh, Dobu giving Kawasawa advice or something. And wow, that would be like a, another viral video. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and uh, I don't think that was life. Yeah, and that must be. And okay, that. And I really did not like the way, like, you know, Kawasawa was actually handling himself. Like, he was actually, um, you know, uh, trash talking his fans. Like, that's one thing that you should never do as a content creator. Like, you know, like, like he's like, yeah, he's, here it is, like, he's saying, the apologize to everyone in the world. Hey, haters, you and, <laughs> you did nothing but heckle me for safety. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was, that was, like, not something that he should have done. And I don't, as I said, like, you know, it was not life. It was, if it was life, he would have started, he would have gotten a lot more hate. You know kawasawa like even after he like sent his apologizing video he would have been hated by the whole world because like you know like as he like as uh Odoka, uh he, what's his name dobu dobu said that his narcissism was too much and he actually like crossed the line yeah but anyways hopefully he learns his lesson and yeah doesn't do these type of things again <laughs> and Dobu also forgive gave him like that's uh, what can I say that's kind of interesting like I never thought that Dobu would forgive him for that like, you know using only the like you know he just uh, like you know put out that apologizing video that apology video and threw away his phone so I didn't think that he would actually forgive him by only doing that like I thought he was probably going to like you know beat him up or something but yeah that's that's nice of Dobu you know <laughs> He, he just taught someone uh, something valuable in their life. <laughs> Boy. Okay. And. Um, right. That. And then uh, the next scene, we went to get to see AG, like, you know. And uh, then the apologizing video and all that stuff. Now, I wonder what's going to happen, how people are going to actually take this, you know. Like, people usually do not it's very difficult to actually f for the internet to actually forgive you for stuff like this like um i think um i think this is like uh, one of my favorite uh, like you know quotes from uh, one of the person that i really love and respect that is pewdiepie that is like this, he said something once and i still remember it he said something like the internet is a place where people uh, like you know get angry real quickly but at the same time if you really genuinely apologize they are the f like you know very quick to forgive you as well like the internet is forgiving i think that's what he said and i i like and you know, I, I remember that uh, like line and it's, it's one thing that i also really believe and you know i think hopefully uh, people will also forgive kawasawa here he might get hate for a few days you know, but there will also be a lot of people who would actually relate to him and actually will be able to see the good in him and forgive him completely. Like trolls are everywhere. Like, you know, like those people will obviously like uh, bother him and harass him. Like that's some like that's like something that will happen. We all know. But they they are just trolls. Like, you know, they'll like like, like harass you for a few days and then they'll go on their own way. <clears throat> but the genuine people who really like, you know, <clears throat> hate him will probably slowly slowly start forgiving him and you know like as he used that apology video and who knows maybe like you know he kind of got viral so i don't like I, like my advice for him <laughs> would be like take a break like you know like for two three four five months when everything kind of goes down uh, he should obviously like start his youtube channel again you know and do good stuff now like you know proper stuff like something that he wants to do like you know like showcasing his hobbies or something that he wants to do like you know like his fame that like you know his like he became infamous in this uh, in the internet so that will kind of help him to actually like, you know uh, in the future like you know 
like have a good foundation to start his own channel and do something you know like uh so yeah like that would be my advice for him like great i'm giving advice to an anime character <laughs> but yeah that's i think that's something that he should try to do. like you know keep like take six seven eight at least a year break you know and when everything kind of like you know settles down start a channel and then people will start recognizing him again people like haters will come i'm sure about it but if he really genuinely starts doing something that he loves and you know in the internet he will definitely be able to you know uh, make a uh, place for himself in the internet and who knows maybe he'll be one of the biggest content creators in the future but yeah okay that and then uh, we get to the ag uh, scene where he actually chucks the uh, uh, you know ring in the river and i was like what is wrong with the people in this show like like <laughs> like i understand ag that he is heartbroken but he's in debt for god's sake like don't throw away that ring which cost you like so many, much money like i was like face farming at that moment i was i was like what the hell are you doing but thankfully he came to his senses and actually went and started find trying to find it hopefully he finds it like he threw it in the river and if he doesn't find it he's screwed you know he, like the debt is there already and like you know like he could have gotten probably would have been able to get a huge like an amount of money if he actually sold the ring but that won't happen if he actually loses it so like that's why like you know like he was emotional at that situation but in these type of situations he should like you know people should keep calm and think rationally because what's he doing he's just getting mad at a ring at his own past mistake at the girl who actually like you know tricked him he's making getting angry at them and like you know taking it out on that ring and throwing it away which would like you know by the end of it would become a big source of regret for for him in the future because when he comes down later on he would regret it for his whole life he would think like oh my god why did i actually throw that ring away for some girl who tricked me you know by getting angry at myself like that was foolishness that i did like he would actually realize that in the future and that would be a big regret so like in these type of situations it's very difficult to keep calm but you should definitely keep calm and take rational decisions because he's really in debt now you know like he has to actually pay the money back so yeah like thank god he actually went back and started find trying to find it hopefully he finds it otherwise he's screwed all right in the next scene we actually get to meet uh, odokawa's landlord or lady i think lady uh and you know goriki i am asks her some questions and stuff and he actually gets to know that the uh, like uh, i think the orphanage uh, the, where the organization that he was in um the foundation sorry uh they actually gave like you know all the money to the landlady so that like, you know like odoka can stay here forever but odokawa decided to actually not uh, like you know take the hell no uh, and i i think that like, he decided to actually um, give back the money to the landlady so that like you know he can return the money back to the foundation like like i am not sure like whether like you know that is that's something that he did because of some kind of a grudge or maybe because he really uh likes them or something i don't know like i'm i'm not sure what happened in the foundation did he have a good time or did he have a bad time but either of the reason is a viable reason for him to actually give it back because he i'm sure he doesn't want to be at someone's debt you know so that's why he is like you know earning this type of money and actually trying to like you know pay it back and uh, yeah but the foundation like you know the names and everything these are those are all secret and um you know the landlady said that uh like we are not allowed to talk about it and gorik is kind of making like you know kind of uh, investigating odokawa and i think that's a good thing because um yeah like we really don't know anything about odokawa and i have to say like i really like odokawa as a character he's such a great main character you know like um like i usually don't say this type of stuff but i really like him in a lot of ways like like what can i say like you know like he's such a sad past but at the same time 
you know he he still has the goodness in his heart you know, the, the the scene the thing with shirakawa kind of proves it actually and not only shirakawa everything like the, he goes and helps eiji and he's trying to actually bring dobu down so that he actually does not bother shirakawa anymore like all these kind of things like this really shows that he has such a good heart and i really like that and uh, yeah like i really like otokawa i really doesn't don't want anything bad happening to him by the end of this anime i hope he gets his uh, happy ending <laughs> oh boy and another thing that actually otokawa said here and uh, during goriki's like when he was talking with goriki uh the thing about stockholm syndrome like that's an interesting way of actually like you know interpreting the situation where like you know what, what goriki was saying actually to otokawa I was completely agreeing with that. Like he said that I understand, like, you know, Shirakawa was is a victim, but at the same time she could have gotten out of the situation any time, like you know, like by any other but some other way, not like this. So the fault is on her. He like bluntly says that. And I also kind of like you know, uh agreed with that. But Odokawa disagrees with that, and it's very interesting the way he actually interprets the situation. He says that Shirakawa is actually suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. And that's a very good observation in my opinion. Because Shirakawa once, I remember in the previous episodes, he, she said something like, like you, know, she, like, you know, I wasn't able to leave him alone. I felt pity for him. Like, that word in itself shows that Odokawa is spot on. Like, that's basically Stockholm Syndrome. You know, she he gets she gets beaten up or I don't know I I don't think I think he, yeah he says that he gets she gets beaten up didn't he just a sec okay here it is he she was controlled by violence and threats yeah so she really you know got hit by um Dobu I think uh yeah uh, okay so as I was saying like you know like even after like you know getting so mistreated by Dobu, she wasn't, she, she, you know, she says that I wasn't able to leave him alone because I felt pity for him. I felt sad for him. I felt a weird affection for him. Like, she said this in the previous, uh, one of the previous episodes. And that shows that Odokawa is spot on. Like, he was able to, like, you know, properly judge that situation. And he knows that if he left Shirakawa alone, she still wouldn't be able to get out of that situation anytime in the future. Like, Dobu would continue mistreating her and exploiting her and she would like take it and she would not like you know because of the whole Stockholm syndrome that he talked she he said and I'm not sure if this is completely Stockholm syndrome but it's kind of like Stockholm syndrome because where like you know like as he said like he, the person actually feels more, like you know uh, empathetic towards the uh, uh, person who like you know is mistreating them or kidnapping them uh so yeah like in a way it is kind of stockholm syndrome and that's a very good way uh, that Do uh odokawa was able to judge the situation like you know like like i thought like at the beginning i thought that he was like not doing this just because he really liked him and uh, like you know uh goriki also said that in this uh, like you know uh in that scene that uh do you like her so much that you're trying to do this for her like I really, I also really thought that yeah, that's the main reason why he's doing this. But in a way, I think like obviously that's a reason. That is a reason. Like I'm sure like that's a small part of the reason as well that Odu, why Odukawa is doing this. That's a small part of the reason uh, because he really likes Shirakawa. Another part of the reason is I'm sure that because he is a really good person from his heart. He was unable to like you know leave Aji alone. We saw that like you know he went out of his way to actually help him. He's a really nice guy, Odokawa. That's another reason why he's uh, trying to help Shirakawa. Like, even if it was not Shirakawa, someone else, he would have helped him or her. So, that's another reason. Another reason is because of this, that he genuinely thinks that Shirakawa is in trouble and she won't be able to get out of this situation because this is Stockholm Syndrome that he's, she's suffering from. And this would continue escalating into a, 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 a worse situation, a worse situation. And she would never be able to get out. So, like, that's like a good observation and good, you know, thinking on his part. So, yeah. All right, that was it. And by the end of it, we actually get to know that uh, Odokawa actually, like, the landlady says that like, he believes. Just a sec. 
okay here it is maybe that's what he believes like this line it's a weird way of actually like saying like the landlady says that because he believes that means odukawa did not lie to goriki it's just that he believes that his parents are missing uh, and then goriki says that they're not missing and uh, she says that they're dead both of them so that means odukawa himself doesn't know that they are not alive anymore i think so that's what i was able to gather from the way the landlady was talking so most probably he doesn't know so like he also believes that they are missing so yeah i'm sure we're going to get more answers in the next episode and another thing i wasn't able to talk about here is tanaka like my god that guy he's crazy you know like who actually <laughs> tries to kill people at with this much passion just because of a gacha game like oh my god he really goes to like needs to go to a doctor as soon as possible like <sighs> bad situation but yeah hopefully everything goes well and you know i really hope for a good ending because like yeah i i i really like odokawa he's he's one of the best characters and not only this anime but you know like all the animes i've watched i i think odoka is one of the you know greatest characters that i've seen uh genuinely like she, he is a really he has a real good heart a kind heart so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction oh my god it's been a long time i'm talking uh so yeah i'll end this video here so if you guys enjoyed this uh, reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah i'll see you guys next week with another episode of our taxi so until then goodbye and have a nice day